I'm Shet Magpie Mamma and welcome to my channel. So today, oh gosh, I'm so excited. Today we're at the Good Life Festival. Now, if you haven't heard of it, it's a festival in North Wales and it's um, run by Kerris Matthews and the Gladstone family. And it's absolutely lovely. It is such a brilliant festival. We've been, um, we, we went in, oh, lots of lots, we went in 2014 and 2015. Unfortunately, last year, our van broke down on the way, so we couldn't go. So we're so happy to be here. It's such a lovely festival. It's kind of set in their grounds, and um, they've got a lovely farm shop here. And honestly, it's one of the best farm shops I've ever been to. It's so nice. And oh, oh I, can see, I can see a celebrity. Oh, I'm just going to turn it around really casually. You ready? So that's the lady who does um, that food unwrapped program. I don't know her name, but I'm going to look it up so I can tell you. So, just crawling with celebrities here. It's lovely. Honestly, it's so nice. Uh, yeah, so we've just come in. So I brought. Um, how many children have I brought? Oh, Alice is not enjoying this. Right, just a minute, Alice. Alice, my backpack at the moment. Are you enjoying being on my back, Alice? You got your label on. Yeah. You got your wristband on. Put you down. Okay, so Alice is off my back. <laughs> right. So yes, yeah, so it's really lovely festival. There's, the music's always really good. It's really cultural, and it's it's quite an upmarket festival. But you know, I like to hang around these other places. So yeah, so I'm going to take take you around with me today, so you can have a good look at everything going on, and I hope you enjoy it. And Book your tickets for next year, honestly, it is that good. You're going to be booking straight away. Get your early bird prices as well. So, this is my festival crew for the day. Everybody give a wave. Woohoo! We've got Lucy, Kyra, Grace, <laughs> Noah, Alice, and my husband, Matthew. Right, are we ready to go in, guys? Mm -hmm. I want to hear a yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> embarrassing oh, mum, embarrassing mum! <laughs> Look at this gorgeous turn here! This is the peddler's shop. Really, 
is a gorgeous craft tent. Oh, look at that decoration there. Oh, that was amazing. Loads of fun going on in here. This stall here is absolutely gorgeous. Just bought myself a piece of artwork. I'm going to show you some other things. I've just bought myself one of these. How gorgeous is that? Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, look. That's amazing as well, isn't it? So, the artist is, let's have a look, so, Laura Kate. So it's Laura Kate Draws, freelance illustrator. And I've got spoon carving over here. Oh, this is a bit that I haven't seen before. Canva. Hands are smitted. Let's have a look inspection here. Oh, this looks exciting. <gasps> look at this place. Oh, wow, this looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Magazines here, as you can see, they're all absolutely gorgeous. And now, when people do the vision for workshops, they always love them. They're always stopping at them, looking through them all to see what you know, what gorgeous things we have. So, so yes, yeah, so if you look online, you'll be able to find them. But definitely worth a subscription because they're just absolutely gorgeous. You won't regret it. Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. Have patience with everything unresolved in your heart. So wise, so wise. So she said it looked the out here where we are now as well. This is one of the tents over here with one of the tops. And there's someone out there who's a bit famous and looks like a kid on the picture table. One of the um, this is a fire lighting workshop. It looks like lots of fun. Look at these amazing tents. How great are these shelters? Baker tents and Welland shelters. It's a handmade order. I think brilliant. I love those. I'm a bit obsessed with little shelters. Look, lighting fires there. And over there, we've got a bushcraft workshop going on. A little bit of carving, making spoons. Oh, Alice trying to take everything here. 
No, no, no. Don't stand back. Stand back. That's it, Dylan. Later on, they do them special feast in here. Yeah. It's a bit more pathetic. It's going to be a lot of round. Look at those beautiful arrangements. There's a little bar at the end. Gorgeous. I wish I was staying for the feast a bit. <laughs> And sometimes in the Pennines I have satisfied my needs. Here I will go, and a dog I will go. And I tell the way through, come more on a double button more. I don't. Well, we've had an absolute lovely day. It's been so nice. It's a really nice festival. All the people are lovely. The setup of everything, it's just really nice. Stallholders, you know, people really believe in their businesses and their kind of ways. And, you know, have got really authentic things, you know, like locally sourced stuff. Oh, kind of. You know, it's, a lot of it's, it's all artisan stuff, you know, artisan crafts and everything, so it's really nice. It's, it's really nice to see people so passionate about the things that they sell when you can go look around the stalls. And then it's just getting to evening now, and the music's going to be kind of kicking off. And the campfires are all lit now, so we're going to go down and just marshmallows by the fire. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and definitely recommend book your tickets for next year, so it's a good life experience. And yeah, it's a lovely festival, it's one of my favourites. And it's not too busy as well, you know, some festivals are used to have some rammed and it's awful, but this is just right, you know, the, the, just the perfect amount of people here, so it makes a huge difference, especially when you go with a large family. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, just press the button, and I'll see you next time.